Funes the Memorius in Artifices, part two of Ficciones, a first-person narrator recalls a deceased friend, Ireneo Funes. His written recollections will be gathered with those of others for a kind of memorial book. One writer has called Funes a superman. The narrator points out Funes was a countryman peasant from the town of Frebentos. The narrator recalls his first meeting with Funes in 1884. He and a cousin were returning from a horseback ride. The cousin asked Funes the time. Without consulting a watch, Funes replied, in 10 minutes, it will be eight o'clock. Impressed, the cousin told the narrator about Ireneo Funes. In 1887, the narrator's family returned to Frebentos in Uruguay. The narrator learns Funes was thrown from a horse and permanently injured. The narrator's begun teaching himself Latin and has brought with him some Latin books. Funes sends the narrator a flowery, ceremonious letter in which he recalls details of their meeting years before and asks to borrow any of the narrator's Latin books and to send a Latin dictionary. Thinking Funes is pulling a prank, the narrator sends a language instruction book. Recalled to Argentina, the narrator remembers Funes still has the books and goes to his house before leaving. In back, Funes lies in the dark, speaking Latin, reading aloud with obvious delight. Funes welcomes the narrator and describes his life before the accident. He had been blind, deaf, mute, somnambulistic, memoryless. The narrator tries to point out Funes already had a remarkable mind and tries to describe the sharpness of Funes' memory. He could remember the shapes of the clouds in the south at dawn on the 30th of April of 1882 and tells the narrator, I have more memories in myself than all of humanity has had since the world was a world. Funes could tell the tempestuous mane of a stallion or the many faces of a dead man during the course of a protracted wake. He even invented a new way of counting, giving every integer a new name. The narrator recalls an invention proposed by the 17th century English philosopher John Locke, a language with a word for every individual thing. Instead of one noun, bird, every individual bird would have its own word. Funes' idea adds the complication of remembering each time he has seen or perceived or imagined each thing. Yet the narrator thinks Funes was perhaps not very capable of thought, almost incapable of general platonic ideas. The narrator says thinking means to forget a difference, to generalize, to abstract. The conversation ends as dawn breaks. Funes dies at age 21 in 1889. Arineo Funes represents an extreme of nominalism, a branch of philosophy that flourished in the Middle Ages. Nominalist philosophers believed there was no real thing behind such universal concepts as humanity or the good. General concepts have no meaning for Funes.